Lupa's turned on. There's the bird. Same spot when I left you. Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, so we're having a great day today. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderful. Got up this morning, I slept long today. Again, another sleeping in day. <laughs> we stayed out really late though last night. Last night we had, I'm thinking I filmed up until dinner and then we had to run some kids and um, we came out and swam for a long time. Jaden was home last night too, so I was swimming with her and Greg came back and swam with him. And then I think we were in the pool until about nine and I'm like, I gotta go in, I'm tired. <laughs> so came in, rested in bed for a little bit and um, and then went to sleep. And here we are this morning, slept right until seven, shut my two alarms off and I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta get up and get moving. So I'm a little bit slower, but that's okay. Got Brooklyn off to work this morning, threw a load of laundry and made my bed, I didn't show that. Went to the post office, which was good. I was gonna do it later and I'm like, you know what, if I go now when there's nobody in line, it'll be much better. It is easier in Florida here. To get out and get your stuff done early, there's not as many people if you wait till the, I'd have to wait till about noon. Um, it would be packed and I'd be sitting there for about 20 minutes to a half hour because there's just a lot of people to service. So I was glad to get that done. And then here I am at home, sat outside, read my Bible. And I'm like, let me get my thoughts and ideas together for today. So I got a little list. It's going to be a good Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday already. We are halfway over the week, ready towards the end of the week. Sometimes it doesn't make a difference to some of you, and I get that, like being a mom. And sometimes you're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend to have time off. But in reality, you don't get time off. And it's Saturday. It's the same as Friday. And even Sunday, sometimes it's more work because it's a lot of work to get kids out the door if you have to go to church. And so it's, sometimes it's really no different, and I get that. <laughs> so whatever day it is, we're almost to the end of the week. We're through another week going through May. The time is coming and going, isn't it? It is. It is. So just make the most of your days that you have. So I have some encouragement for you today, and it comes from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. I like this one because, and I reference it a lot, but I definitely have different takes on all of it, and it is. And I find that repetition is a good thing. Like you can hear a verse once, kind of remember it, but the more you hear it, the more you dwell on it, it like gets stuck inside of you. I love, I listen to a pastor and, um, he takes one verse and then he says, the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. He goes, he goes, I won't give you two or three witnesses. He goes, I'll give you 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 witnesses. So he usually takes the one scripture and then will continue expounding on it for 15 different verses that are the same thing so that you get it so deep with inside of you. It says, but those who wait on the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in Him, will gain new strength and renew their power. Do you feel like you're ever depleted on your power? Depleted on what you can do? Feeling like you're making zero difference in anybody's lives? They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Doesn't mean you're running through it and not get to your walking. You're continuing with the day to day, the drudgery, the thing that's the same over and over and over again. He's gonna renew that strength to keep on going. So no matter what's going on in your life, if you're dealing with something, you're not seeing the results of something in your life, this is the good time to endure, get some, what's the word? Um, 
persevering, that's what I'm looking for, persevering to keep going. And it helps to practice patience. <laughs> People say, I don't have patience, but you do have patience if you learn to, okay, I just gotta keep going. I gotta trust God and keep going with things in my life. And trust that God's timing is perfect, that he's got it figured out. Like we might think it should happen right now, but God has gotta take us through a few things to learn a few things and then reveal whatever it is he's gonna bring in our lives because he does fulfill his promises in due time. We want everything right now, right now, right now. I find that in my own life when I finally, finally, after, you know, complaining and begging and pleading and praying the same thing over and over and over and over again, I finally, when I just go, okay, I'm trusting you, God, and I like don't even think about it anymore, usually that's the time that he does something. And I'm like, hmm, I just had to get that out of my forefront of my mind and trust you, God, and not even think about it anymore. <laughs> He is good like that. <laughs> so today we're gonna go in. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna gotta clamp the kitchen a little bit. There's not a whole lot to pick up. Just a few things, and then I think I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do for food today. Get that done because it is another glorious, glorious sunshine, blue sky day again today. So I like to leave my afternoons to be able to come outside and swim with the kids, enjoy some sunshine, and not be stuck like in the kitchen during the mid the, the midnight hour, the din the dinner hour, and have to make a bunch of food. I'd rather be enjoying life outside here. So we're gonna go in and see what we're gonna make. I got a few other things to kind of get together. I wanna order a few things on Amazon today and it's gonna be good. So you ready for a great day? All right, let's go. First thing, I'm feeling hungry today. So some days I wake up and I feel hungry. Some, I'm sorry. Some days I'm like, I don't for a while and I just eat it later, but today I'm feeling hunger. So I'm going to, I've got seed bread in the um, toaster. Like a seed bread, I'm gonna do like avocado toast because I've got the everything bagel seasoning and I'll do a couple of eggs. Uh, so I think I'm gonna take about a 10 minute break and I didn't even start 10 minutes to eat breakfast so I can get nutrients in my body to keep moving for the day. All right, slow moving, still had my breakfast and then um, I thought I'll do it for the laundry and I'm like, I just need to get moving. So once you don't feel like it, I'm like, just get some water, get going. One thing I want to do is today is order some stuff on Amazon. So I'm ordering a new bathing suit. I bought bathing suits last year and they are just from swimming every single day, a couple times a day. They're just like coming apart, like stretching and, you know, just worn out like the straps I have, like where it's, I have two, I have one that's, um, I have a I'll say topless, strapless, not strapless, strapless one that I wear here. It's got the skirted one, and then I've got one that I wear out, and it has straps with the skirt. But at home, it's just us swimming, so I don't mind having just a regular bathing suit with just like regular bottoms. But when I go out, I like to be a little bit more covering, so I like the skirted one. But when you have to use the bathroom, you have to take off your entire bathing suit. Always a pain. So I'm looking for a two piece tankini with the skirted bathing suit. So I think I found a couple here on Amazon. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna try, these are a couple that I'm gonna try. So this was one, this was one. I thought that looked good. And then what was the other one? That's the skirted and this, I like this brown one a lot. This one, I thought this is really neat. So I'm gonna try those two for out and then at home, um, I'm gonna do purple, I'm like a navy blue, black, easy kind of girl. So at home I'm thinking just like this. This looks like the top of my one I have at home but it has the skirt on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that one but then I'm gonna try this one as well. Looks like, I just don't know if the top, how the chest will fit, will it fall down without the straps on? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna get those two good things. They have free returns so it's no big deal to return. And then what else am I buying? I am buying um, mixing dog bones on here because you can get a 60 pack for ten dollars Mary died so i can get a 60 pack for ten dollars for her busy bones that she likes here she likes these ones and then i'm going to get some eyeliner pencil because that's what i wear and then i'm going to pick up these alfalfa sprouts here i love sprouts remember i was trying to find them in the store and could not so they have a 
60 ounce for $15, which it looks like it'll be make a ton. Uh, um, I just get the seeds and sprout them in a jar. It's very simple. So I'm just gonna order those up there. I'm just looking and then everything, make sure everything's free returns. Free returns, free returns, free returns, except the dog food and the makeup, obviously. Even the seeds are free returns. Okay, so I am going to order these so that um, they come. And so it's one of those things we canceled our, hold on one second. Okay, one thing being frugal in life and seeing like what we need, what we don't need is we canceled our Amazon Prime. Place my order. Canceled our Amazon Prime and so, because my thought was it was great in the mountains because you know what, it's faster to get something shipped here to my house in the mountains than the time that I would drive all the way into town. So for here, I'm like, I don't really need to order as much on a daily basis because we're right by everything and I'm out all the time. I literally every day I have to take Brooklyn to work pretty much. So it's like I always drive by a store here or there or Greg is out doing things. So I, we canceled the Amazon Prime. So the only bad thing is that you only get it delivered like once a week, you you can, they, when you do it, make sure you pay attention. They automatically add a $6.99 fee to deliver. And it's only like a day before the time or if you, but if you choose free shipping, it's like the next day after. So you just have to make sure you mark that. So we do, it just doesn't mean it comes tomorrow or the next day, it just comes next week. And that's okay, that's fine. And we can get it. It's just one of those things that you're like, where do you want to save some money? Let, we don't really need that, so we canceled that. So that's a good thing. So that is good. So that is ordered. That's one thing off my list, yay. I laughed, I'm like, it's not even on my list. <laughs> so I guess I marked nothing off my list. That's quite all right. <laughs> that's okay, one thing there. So there is food I want to make. I just, I don't feel like making food right now, and that's okay, I'm not even going to. So what I'm gonna do is, let me wash these dishes that we have right here, because we have a full dishwasher. I'll wash these so they can be put away. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of my deep cleaning right now. I'm just not feeling the food right now. Something I want to make is some strawberry shortcake for dessert tonight. I thought that'd be good. I have a Cool Whip out in the garage, and I have strawberries galore. And then I thought I'd make some more Hershey's chocolate syrup as well, because that's really good. The, the homemade kind, which is really yummy. And that'll be food for now. There's some stuff for lunches, and then I guess I'll kind of figure out what we're going to have for dinner. I really don't have a plan today, and that's okay. Hey, there's nothing wrong with not having a plan. Worst case, fry some eggs. Hey, everybody, have a sandwich, whatever works. So let's wash these dishes. We have a whole sink full of dishes again. <laughs> it's like, how did the dishes appear? The dishwasher was full last night, I know it was. So let me wash these dishes and then uh, we'll, we'll find something else to do. So when you don't feel motivated to do something, put on some praise and worship music like I did. It took two songs, two songs to do the dishes. And you can put that in effect for everything. I have to shut it off so you guys don't get copyrighted. But when you're working, turn on some music and challenge yourself things like, okay, two songs, I'm gonna get these dishes washed and do that. Or I'm gonna work three songs and clean up my kitchen. Just something to pass the time, it's a good thing. And water. I know we know water's important. I get it, you're supposed to drink it. You've heard the whole thing. If you're feeling tired, you're feeling, um, you, I think of this during the day, like you feel tired or you know, hungry, more than likely you're just dehydrated, right? You've heard that, but think in the morning, like that's why I think it's good to get up and drink a glass of water. I don't, I'm just telling you, I think that's probably why, because you're dehydrated already. And so um, <laughs> to get water kind of fills you up a little bit. So I think of like this morning, like I am, oh, oh, are you okay? What'd you do? See what are you doing? You're barking or something, what's wrong? You okay? How are you going anywhere? You okay? I had a bad dream or something but I think of like right now like if I already had two cups of coffee that's like my limit usually a day I don't have any more I don't not no yesterday I had a Starbucks and it kept me going all day long <laughs> so I think of like today I'm a little bit more tired part of life it's gonna happen so I think oh, I should get another cup of coffee no get yourself a water I drank one drink a couple things of water because like I feel like Tiredy. You feel like you want to go lay in bed, which I want to do. I want to, um, you know, go get some motion for like my little bit of headache I have. I want to get coffee to keep me going. It's still going to make me feel miserable. So drink some water the first time. 
and then do it. If you still feel crappy, go lay in bed. If you still feel headachy, take a Motrin. Still want coffee? Have some coffee. I'm just thinking things have helped me. It's taken me a long time to figure these things out. I know. <laughs> but drink your water. So I'm gonna drink another cup. Okay, that's done. So what else am I gonna do? So that's not on my list, unfortunately. I have a list to go. I'm like, that's not on there. But we do deep cleaning usually once a week. You, not always. Like I, the way I have my schedule planned out for the month, instead of doing like a big deep cleaning once a year or twice a year, I just don't do that. Not normally. So I have it planned out to do a little bit every month and if you miss a month that's okay so for us it was um the last month we did our kitchen well our kitchen gets dirty because we live here we eat here we work here it gets dirty so i kind of have to go through and deep clean if not it gets to be a mess so we've already done a lot this week which i've already filmed a lot of that so the other thing i was going to do is um kind of go through the cupboards just a quick to make sure everything's in where it should be it doesn't have to be perfect but just a little bit we had everybody wipe stuff off but i realized there's like food on there already so i'm gonna wipe that little mark off and then just look in the cupboards see if everything looks good which i think it's pretty much good and the reason why it gets messed up is because i have other people working this household along with me but they are not robots they don't put everything away perfectly um my kids are going to forget they do <laughs> i forget so it's going to happen but then just to say okay let's make sure all this stuff is in here all this stuff is in here so let's take a few minutes let's do that i'm going to work let's work on this side we'll go on this side and i'll go through the bottom ones real quick and just see what i have to straighten Let's walk you through the weeding out process. This is the cupboard. This was where their trash can was, so it doesn't have the top shelf, which I'm thankful for because a lot of people said you should put this in your cupboard next to the stove, which makes more sense, but I don't have a tall cupboard. Every single cupboard has a shelf in it. I don't know why they just did that. That's okay, maybe they don't have the kind of stuff I had. I get it. Not everybody's a big giant cooker. <laughs> so they, um. I, I'm thankful for this because I already had the shelf it looks like and it's not like you could take the shelf out It's not like that kind. It's literally they took a sawzall and chopped a lot. It doesn't look like sawzall so It's kind of messy, but something they had to chop out the shelf. So there is no other Shelf that's why this cupboard looks like this So what I do is I try to because I have to fit it all in here and um, try to put like my these kind of pans on the same way So they just have to be moved and you stack them it works good Here, there's another one. There are flat ones, pizza ones, and then these are like um, smaller ones, and these are my big giant ones. So this is good. Like, like, done. Yay, that one's finished. Hi, Maxie. Hello, <laughs> Maxie. Look at this poor dog. What is wrong? Do day off in here and I go by mommy, huh? How come? You just feeling like you need to be by me? She's like, yes. She's like, oh, I don't know, this camera mom. Okay, so this one is my towel cupboard and my extra plastic bag cupboard, and that's okay. I think of like this pull-out sliding shelf. Someone said that, and that'd be great. And I just realized there's a lip on this. So I probably could not do that. Well, you could, right? You'd have the runner, but it would be the, the shelf would have to be smaller. I just thought about that because I was going to order the slide-out ones, but I know my mom has the slide-out ones, but I don't think this is here. Like it's a, see how it goes in? I think it's just smooth coming out. So I'd have to see and move that over. But anyways, Maddie folds my towel super, super nice. I put my cutting boards right here. Weird spot, but I'm using it right here. So this works good. And I keep my extra bags and stuff up here. And this is good for me. Behind it is the big giant bags and my white towels for um, like bread and stuff. And then over here is my pan cupboard. It's different than over there just because I guess, would this one work over there? It would. I have a corner cupboard like this over here, but it's a lot, it's smaller. None of the cabinets are the same size. Like the drawers, they're all different sizes, which is very different. I don't know, it was customized, I guess, but definitely a different thing. So I try, I keep my plastic in here so I can grab it out. And then I just keep my pans up on top, the ones I don't always use, I don't always use the blue ones. And then I try to keep the small ones, which are probably all a dishwasher with a lid up here. My frying pans I keep here because I use, and then I have a stock pot. So this is, Good for that. That one's done. Should we stay on the floor? Let's just stay on the floor. Okay, we can stay right here. Look at Maxine. Maxine, can we open the door right here? I gotta clean this off. So this is, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Food on there. This is paint coming off already, and this is, I don't even know what that is. Paint something. So that's already definitely worn out. I liked my, I, my other kitchen, you pull these out and you can put sponges in here. I can't do that because the sink they put in here goes right up against it. So see, it's right there. Okay, I'm gonna move this. So this gives me a chance to look in here. 
actually, let me, I'll remind myself. The great thing about video editing is when I, sometimes I like give myself reminders of like what to get. So this is my trash bag. So remind myself to get 30 gallon trash bags, 20 of them. Let's see if I can get these on Sam's Club. We use these for our garbage cans. I've got a lot of vases back here now, which is awesome. These are our big trash bags for our big can outside. Um, I guess I don't need little ones because there's enough here. These are what came with the company. And then we have these ones, which are just extras for outside as well. Lots of different kinds of shelf kind of slides here. These are two shelves. Let's see. There we go. Let's fix this. Let's straighten this. So I just keep these here. All I need is trash bags. I need 30 gallon, Amy. Remember 30 gallon. And I've got a big thing of, I keep my, wife, my paper in here, my tin foil. So I've got a scrub mommy. I've got all these. Whenever I'm done with cleaners, I can make my own cleaners again. I've got a little scrubby. There's not a whole lot we keep in here, which is good. Um, this we keep for our steamer, and I keep a metal scrubber in here, and a, this is for Maxi's water bowl. And note to self to get soap, and note to self to get more dish pods. This I keep right here, because I use this stuff. For my chairs. Maxine's got stuff. Okay. So easy, I mean, that's like done. Can I wipe it out? Sure, I could wipe it out. There's dirt under there. Do I? No, not always. This would be one of those satisfying videos where you pull everything out and you find all the dirt, but I'm not gonna do that. We'll only wipe if needed. Okay, this one's done. Might as well stay on the floor. Let's go over here. Excuse me, moi, Maxine. Okay, this one is the uh, a good extra cover too. I keep my squeezer in here. I don't like the lid on it. It is dry, but I like that stuff. I like to put my food processor right here. These are all the pieces to my little cheese grater and my blender. This is it. This is in here. It needs to go somewhere else. And then this one is like my pots and pans, but it is a little bit, it might be the same size. I feel like it's a little bit smaller. Probably be great because this is a big mess. It'd be great to put my pots and pans over here, wouldn't it? I mean, it's one of those things like all my pans are over here anyway. So <laughs> this cupboard just tells me I have more room for things. So we've got... Let me get this stuff out of here. Yeah, so this is the cupboard of like strainers, strainers, cupcake holder. I got my, um, the racks to dry the cookies on. Is that, is that food or is that glue? That would be food. Let's see again, we'll wipe that off. So this is just the extra. I'm not even going to that. I know, leave it. One of those things, I'm not perfect. It's okay. This is the, obviously the, food cupboard, so I'm gonna have to, so for me in here, I can't remember, I have these, let me put these up. I know that we are out of, this one I'm gonna do myself a grocery list, I'm out of elbow macaroni, I'm out of penne pasta, and I'm out of like curly noodles, I got about half of that in here. I, might, I think I need rice too, and I have a little bit of rice here. Got linguine. I'd like to get some small thin spaghetti or angel hair pasta. Let's see what else. Oh, and then I need pinto beans. I'm out of pinto beans. And I'm out of emergency mac and cheese because there's like four boxes. I've got lots of cheese with gents in here. Did a discount store soon. I think I'm gonna do um, curry this weekend for Mother's Day. Like I'm gonna plan on again the weird person. I'm gonna make um dinner beforehand and then that way Sunday it's easy so I'm thinking to make coconut curry because it's my absolute favorite food and then the kids have ramen and they like love that so this is good okay bottom is done see how quick that was got the bottom one done let's do drawers here these are I see these are coming out here this I just have my serving spoons in what even goes in here you know what I had stuff in here but now it's over here can I take out some of these sure I could take out some of these but let me see. Oh. Well, one of my projects this year, I'd like to get the, um, you know, just shelf liner and line all my drawers. I did that in my old kitchen and it was just so much nicer because the wood gets worn, it gets water and it gets yucky. So I would love to do that. So this, these are fine like that. Do I even need these in here? I don't even think so. Because it's literally like this shouldn't be in here. It's like four things. 
Oh, I don't know. I guess we don't need that. Let's see, this is all of our silverware, so this one's good. That's easy enough. This over here is like my, my knives. I took out some of the knives because I had so many knives. And it's one of those things where they're like, there's so many. And I'm grabbing them out and I'm like, which one is which one? So I don't need, did I even need this big giant thing? No. I should probably put these up here now. Oh, there you go. Actually, let's do this. Is that better? Yeah, let's do this. Steven will be happy. He puts away my dishes. He's like, we should put the butter knife up here. Okay, so these can stay right up here. That's like a nice slicer. And then I keep like my extra stuff in here. Like random things like a cord or lights and screwdriver. Just the random things. Stuff on my camera. So this is okay for me. So good. And then this one is a plastic bag to our cupboard. And the, I'm glad I didn't get, I was going to get those, um, the drawer organizers. But the drawers, again, are different sizes. They do not fit everything. I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, can I trade out one of those for here? I could, but it's okay. So this is filled with like this fits in here now. The other box was smaller. I put my big bags and my quart bags. And I just know that these are snack bags and I have sandwich bags. So is it perfect or nice? No, but like it's good enough. It's what I know. So it's like, it's good. So let's just close that drawer back up. Okay. And then over here is all my these, I love my pot holders. These have been great. I still have a couple from my mom. They're pretty old, but I'm going to keep them because I don't want to get rid of those because I'm not going to get any more. And then I never even use these. Never even use those toilets ever. Ever. That's okay. We may one day. Okay, that's good. And over here is spices. And I know I do need everything bagel seasoning from Sam's Club, Amy. If you remember, I'm looking at anything else. Let's see. And then this is just an extra cupboard again. So this is storing the chopper, the immersion blender, the extra knives, some flippers I don't use. Oh, here's this thing. This to go in here. And little tongs. I probably put the tongs over there. Oh, here's the kids. These things. I bought these on Timu for them, like a set. And it was one of those things that I didn't realize. Yeah, like they're very popular, but you get them on Timu for so cheap. So what? How does that work like this? So you're playing your video games but you're able to pick up your Cheetos or your food without getting your fingers sticking. My kids come all the time. Okay, this is perfect. So that works good because I have in there my stuff I use over here and I have in here the stuff I use over there. So that actually works out really good. Do you want to go outside? She's like, I'm debating. Maxine, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Let's see. Let's see if she's playing with me. Do you want to go out? Yes. Here you go. Such a scammer. She doesn't even want to go. <laughs> She's like, no, I just want to look outside. Okay, then up here. These are simple. I'm not even going to organize them. They're all a glass covered. I have the little cups up there, the um, square things in here. Okay, something I do want to do is we've had these for a long time. They're amazing. But after a while, mold can accumulate in the white rubber part. It happens. It's going to happen because water gets in it. So I would like to. Um, bleach these you have to bleach them so i'm gonna take these apart yeah see like mold gets in the corner i know it's disgusting in real life that's what it looks like it happens everybody else has it too not everybody people do if you've had your things for more than a couple years it's going to happen so i'm just checking them this is the thing that takes the time you never want to do it but you just got to do it so i'm gonna throw those in the sink not all of them are bad but once you do one you're like should you do all of them you might as well the other solution is purchase new ones, but who wants to spend thirty dollars on stuff that if you just take out the lid, the thing? This one is good. I probably should just do all of them, shouldn't I? Just do them all. All the ones I have. We have a lot in the refrigerator too. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, okay, they're a pain to get back, and if you don't put them back perfectly, more gets under. So I'm just gonna have to do one of those. Like, I'm just gonna have to do it. Let me. Um, let's just do them all. Let's just do them all. You don't have to, but if you're gonna do one, you might as well do all of them. I have to look in my refrigerator and see what I have. Okay, there, that's an extra job to do today. Okay, so that's done there. This is, like these two pretty much stay good because it's the kids putting food away. This can go here and they're good. I'm not even worried about this cupboard. Oh, wait, actually, plates go here, don't they? That's right, these do go here. These are my extra ones for 
mother's sake, because I don't want to do dishes. Okay, so those are done. This is food cover, and so it would be a good time to look at it. Note to make some veggies with balsamic glaze. Are out. Do you want to get the squirrel? She's gonna go. <laughs> I don't know what she says. She's barking at something. Okay, so come back. So I need to get um, honey, something else to add to my list. See, I'm doing a grocery list right now. Peanut butter, we this is like just the cover of everything we use right here. We'll make some tacos. Can I do? Let's make some taco seasoning. I'm just gonna fill these containers up. Ooh, take notice real quick. This is a 32 ounce and this is a 40 ounce. Is Sam's Club bigger than, than Walmart? I think the smaller one's at Walmart, so it probably is cheaper to get that at Sam's. And so I bought, I bought a lot of these before I moved here. I don't know why. I fear they wouldn't have them in Florida. I don't know why. But the only thing that um, I have a lot of is the tomato. I still have three containers of tomato stuff. Now I just had to buy the chicken one and then the beef one is, I'm on my like one before. My lap, like it's that big bottle right there I still have. So that's good, it's just, just chicken bouillon. But now I'm gonna have to make, definitely take note if this is bigger at Sam's Club. I'm sure it is, so this is good. So. I, the tomato I got because I couldn't find it all the time at Walmart, so I didn't know do they have that down here very much because we had a big Hispanic community where we lived. So I was thinking, well, is there a big Hispanic community here in Florida? Yeah, Florida's got, is like the, I feel like it's a melting pot of like so many different people because everybody's coming here from around the world. So they do have that. Can note to buy more baking powder as well. This is my last one. Usually when I fuse one up, I make a note to get some more. You know, somebody say, why are you taking from one container to the other one? Like, this cornstarch is in the solid container. I shouldn't have to worry. But the last one I bought was in a box. So that's how I originally started putting them in here. Baking powder was always in a um, little container. But it's just how I started. I feel like one was in there. Like, baking soda's in a box. So I like to put it in containers here. Okay, so I'm going to make up more taco seasoning. This is something that I go on the McCormick website. I like the McCormick's. We like the old El Paso one. But McCormick's tastes good. And then I add cumin to it as well. So I just wrote down the recipe, multiplied it out so I can make it a little bit bigger. Looked at how many teaspoons were in a tablespoon. It's three, so I can do this a whole lot faster. Okay, so everything's good here. The only thing I added was some um, cumin to it. That's not in my original recipe, so I did, how much did I add? I'm gonna say four teaspoons. And then um, just stir it up, taste it, it's good to go. And then put it in my taco seasoning container and call it good. Mix it with, you know, I put cup cornstarch in it and it thickens it a little bit when you add it to your taco meat.
sometimes it's a little bit redder or darker depending on how much paprika you add to it this is good this is a good little mixture okay um then the only thing we do different is i think it says garlic there's just garlic i have garlic salt that i add so i add a little bit less salt and then i add minced onion instead of the onion powder just because i get tired of buying the onion powder that is keeps caking in my jar okay let me put this stuff away wipe it off and put it away Okay, so that led to a whole bunch of organizing in there, which is good, and getting a list. So let me look in my baking one. Shouldn't be, you can't really see because it's in the corner and I've got my coffee stand right here. Let's see. This is all of stuff up on top that, like funnel cakes. Can't wait to do my funnel cakes. I just got a deep fry. Um, I probably will get a brown sugar amount of. So we have got canola oil. I got, I got coconut oil like flour, sugar, I'll get more of that stuff later. And then. <laughs> okay, this is me. I didn't I buy, I thought I bought coconut extra. I couldn't find it, it's in the cupboard. It just got knocked down. I'm having issues with my stuff disappearing. Okay, there's a coconut knife too. I think I can put, why don't I put this stuff over here? Along with my baking cocoa. This is gonna make more sense. Or actually, you know why I never did this? Because the bottle didn't fit. Let's put it right here. Let's put the flavoring there, okay? And then look at the maple and the coconut. I can't believe I did that. I mean, then, because, you know, it happens. So now I've got a bunch of coconut. And now I'm going to put my coconut. I'm going to put my baking over here. What else do we got? You know, because let's put our baking spray. Can I do that with it shutting? Okay, so I'll put all the baking over here, which I should have intended to do that in the beginning. This way I can see everything. What did I need? Um, I think we have to have s'mores. There's s'mores down here. Oh, shortening. I need shortening. Remind us of shortening. Hot chocolate chips. That's Maxine's food. This one I threw away. These I crunched up from a long time ago. I think we'd use them. We never have. Okay, so then look at it. Then that frees me a little tiny bit of space because this is pretty stock full of stuff here. The apple cider vinegar. That's another one I just use over here. I mean, I know I use baking soda and baking powder too, but this will be okay up here. This gives me a little bit more space here. All of our food. I think I have a little container. I think this is good for here. Okay, there you go. This thing, I think I already organized this thing. Just got like a crumb right here. That's it. Perfect. So see, that took a little bit of time, but that was getting something done instead of nothing at all. So now I'm going to take... I just have to put these somewhere so I remember that I have them. Let me just take them out of there. Because see, I bought tortillas thinking, oh, I don't have any tortillas. Pocket kits over here. Let's just open it. What's in here is pickle seasoning and little pockets. And taco sauce, which we don't eat the taco sauce. But the little pockets are always fun to fill full of stuff. Let's put these in the cupboard, put these on the shelf so we know we got them. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Brooklyn. We just did, oh, it's hot. We just did school and got that done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Brooklyn. Okay, back home. Kids put all the things on here for the lid, so this is perfect. I was like, I did not wanna do that. They put it on like two seconds. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm like in that mode today of like, what do I even make for dinner? I didn't, don't even have an idea. I didn't even think, I don't even, usually I'm like, oh, let me make this, let me, I just don't really feel like making it. We have some hot dogs, hamburgers, we have some tacos. Um, the kids, I said, focus on eating the hot dogs and hamburgers for lunch. They said they would. And I said, what do you guys want for dinner? And they said, pizza. All of them said pizza. So I'm like, 
let's make some pizza dough. That's so let's get some pizza dough made up. I'm gonna do it by hand. Sometimes I do it in a little bread machine that it explodes out of there and that's fine to do too. But I think I'm just gonna do it right in my mixing bowl right here and it's good to do. So I'm gonna get some oil out. I also wanna do strawberry shortcake for tonight. So I feel like starting to make some food will make me go, okay, let's make some strawberry shortcake as well. <laughs> I'm just not feeling like any kind of food today. And then I would like, I wanna have pizza, but I'm like, I would like to do like kale salad. So maybe I'll get that rolling. You are just gonna have to see how the day transforms here. It's one of those things where you're like, okay, you gotta do it, right? What I really would do is just go sit in the pool. It's okay to have one of those days too. So this is good. I'm just gonna, I should let that sit for a minute, shouldn't I? Okay, let it sit for a minute. Let me, I have my strawberry shortcake. I thought, I used to use a recipe from, um, I thought it was in this cookbook, my friend's cookbook. I don't know if this is for sale anymore. She had it for sale, Jean Smith, but, um, Edna Martin, I believe that's what her, was that her last name? Edna, Edna Miller. She made something and it was like a cream pie shortcake or something, or I, I don't remember what cookbook. It wasn't, I couldn't find it in here because I was looking for it, but it was like, you thought it was gonna be a pie, but it ended up being, she said she used it for her um, strawberry shortcake. And it was basically in a pie crust, like a pie pan. I was trying to look it up. I'm like, is it in here? But I saw I must not have it at all. I'm not sure. I was trying to look it up. I'm like, do I have it in here? So I just found a quick shortcake. We'll try that one and see. Or strawberry shortcake for my friend Jean in here. See how it works. So I'll mix some of that up in a little bit. Can we hurry this along? It's probably not good to hurry the pizza dough, is it? <sighs> Wait, hold on. Let me go get an apron. You should. Oh, you should let it get spongy. I did. It's okay. I'm just going to keep moving. I'll just set it in my oven. Or can I set it in my oven? Yes, I can. I should move the rack down. Or set it outside because it's like a thousand degrees outside. That's what I'll do. Okay, so you add, let me get some salt. This is our family recipe. We've been using this for ever, ever, ever. On my blog, you can go see it. It's free. I'm just gonna make sure I got everything. But I'm just gonna mix it by hand. Sometimes I put it in my bread machine and that works. I'll just mix it by hand. If you put in half the amount of flour and then stir it, one of these, it works good. Danish dough. this outside just in the table up there because it's plenty hot outside surely that'll help it rise up quicker it'll begin so i'm gonna do this with just doing a voiceover because my kids are in the kitchen grabbing lunch and they're watching a movie so instead of having them stop every five minutes i'm just gonna do a voice over here so this is strawberry shortcake this is from recipe from this cookbook and it is two and a half cups of flour two tablespoons of baking powder half a teaspoon of salt and mix that up real well and i added one cup of sugar as well mix it up and then i added to it two eggs one cup of milk two teaspoons of butter and vanilla and almond extract I added to this and so I just stir this up really good and I'll be putting this oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes so this is going to be yummy and delicious it's a little bit sweeter sometimes strawberry shortcake doesn't have as much sugar I feel like and so this one is I know it's delicious it'll be delicious we're having a good afternoon fun just laughing having fun with the kids so this is one of those like moments where you're being a mom so but even though I'm filming for you it's like I'm still talking interacting with them <laughs> having fun so it's been a good afternoon my pizza dough is outside rising. I'll just keep checking on that in a little bit. What I'm going to do is I have cool up in the garage and then I also have um, strawberries. I brought those in. So I'm going to wash a bunch of these and then I'm going to take some and crush some, add a little bit of sugar to it and kind of smash it down so it makes more like a strawberry, like chopped up type thing to add with the sugar. It'll be more of like, you know, syrup without syrup. Does that make sense? And then they can put it with some fresh strawberries for the strawberry shortcake and this will be very good for dinner. Dessert. These are strawberries are going to taste so good. So I'm just chopping them up here with my little chopper I use for my hamburger and getting it, put some sugar on it because you want it nice and sweet. So it'll be good. So let's just keep chopping away. I add a little bit more sugar. Taste very good. I'll put this in the refrigerator for dinner tonight. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna do is make my own chocolate syrup. We made this last time, last month, and it's so good because Hershey syrup has gone up in price like a whole lot, a whole lot. And this just cost, in this cookbook, it shows 85 cents per quart. I'm, it's probably, it might be a little bit more, but not much more in price. The price is gonna be in your Dutch cocoa powder. So this is one cup of cocoa powder and you mix in three cups of sugar, stir that together with a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then what you do is mix, first mix this together, then you're gonna put in two cups of hot water and stir that up till it's all smooth. Then bring it to a boil, boil it for about two to four minutes until the sugar is dissolved. You stir it constantly, remove it from the heat and add the vanilla and then put it in your pint jars. You can also can this as well. We just put it in jars and put it in the refrigerator. It's delicious, kids love it. They're like, this is, tastes really, really good. So I am thankful to be able to make this again. And then I'm just mixing up some kale salad. This is something I really enjoy. So I'm cutting this up here after I washed it. I'm gonna add cranberries to it and Parmesan cheese. I'm also gonna add some green onions. In the cookbook it says, be careful, this wants to foam up and spill over. And I'm like, it didn't do that for me last time. And I was just had my back turned and it did spill all over me. Chocolate syrup all over my stove. It's all good. It's still, <gasps> what a mess. Okay, so just. Boil for four minutes. Be careful. You want to boil this to about 221 degrees. I'll make it a nice thick syrup. Okay, that was a gigantic mess to clean up. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. So it's sitting here cooling. I've got my salad all mixed up here. I'm gonna add a can of garbanzo beans in here. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like this when I go to eat it. I'm gonna add some of this to it. So they're dipping the chocolate. It's really good. They're dipping the strawberries in the chocolate. It's good. <laughs> so this is yummy. I'll leave this for dinner. I had lots of things go wrong in there that I wanted to laugh about, but we were, the kids are watching a movie, so um, everything. The salad is good, the kale salad, it's just kale, wash, that's local kale. I put cranberries, the Parmesan cheese, and some garbanzo beans. I will put um, salad dressing in it tonight when I eat it. And then my pizza dough is looking like it's rising up. It's kind of getting fluffy, I'm not gonna touch it. And then the chocolate syrup, oh my goodness, what a mess, what a mess. I was like, I, her thing, it says in there, be careful, this will foam up. Well, last time I did it, it didn't foam, but I was sitting there the whole time stirring it. I did not do that, because I got you know busy doing everything else, and I looked and it overflowed all over the stove. I'm like, oh my goodness. So yeah, she can let it cool, but it's so hard to scrape out when it's like thicker. So I just picked that all up and it was super hot. Got it done. And then I go to pour it in the jars and then pour it on the counter. I'm like, it's good. It's good, but it tastes delicious. It's so, so tasty. If you need a good chocolate syrup, use that recipe. It's so, so simple. So what I'm gonna do, this is like my, usually, is it 1, 2, 30? Yeah, it's 2, 40. This is the time I usually take a break and come in the pool. Um, I don't know if I'll get to come swim or not yet, but what I'll do today is rinse the filter. We had to, our pool, we go through different uh, things that we added since we added the cyanuric acid, that kind of stuff to clear some stuff. I need to rinse the filter. So I'm gonna do that right now. Then maybe my pizza dough will be ready. I can punch it down and maybe make the pizzas and then get them ready for dinner tonight. We'll see. So I gotta go over here and get my filter. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, green filter. The pool filter definitely needs to be cleaned out. I'm gonna rinse it out.
Okay, pool all clean, that's good. The filter definitely got yucky. So battling with a little bit of the temperature because the pool water is so warm, but we're getting it, we're getting it good. So that's cleaned up, pool's looking amazing. I'm gonna take in my dough here. I know it's gonna be, I can feel it right here. I'll just punch it down. It is hot, hot, hot. I don't even know. We moved in. It was record temperature. I believe it was one, was it 115 or 120 degrees like regular last year. Like when we moved in, it was the hottest day of the, <laughs> the, the summer. And then it stayed like that forever. Now I'm like, it's 90 and it's warm. I'm like, another 20 degrees. Yeah, 20. That's, that's hot. So it's good though. It's good. It's good when you're in the pool. I just, I don't know if I'm going to get up there right now. I'm thinking because I love to swim. I love my sunshine. You know I do. But I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, well, maybe if I get a few, another thing on my list off, which is good. I don't have to. I can go sit in the pool all day long. But if I get a little bit more accomplished, then finish up tonight and then I can come swim earlier tonight because we don't have to go anywhere or do anything, right? Tonight is Thursday. No, we already ran Brooklyn, so we would be good. Autumn and Jaden are gone, but that's good. So I think we're going to be good to stay home. So I'm thinking early swim will be a great thing. So what I'm going to do is we planted over here so i'm thinking let me look and see what we have we have this is these are hot peppers let's do it over here let's go this way so right here is a hot pepper but none of this i put one in each one they didn't come up so i'm thinking why don't i get another hot pepper i know we have a bunch in here which one is a hot pepper pepper hot Ooh, which one do we get? Oh wait, these are all hot pepper. Well, this is a chili. Okay, so I'm thinking 72 days to heart. Okay. So since, now my thought is like, um, like Florida, it's pretty hot all the time. So will this, like my tomatoes, let me know this people here in Florida, my southwestern Florida people, like my tomatoes, like normally up north and stuff, you would grow, or even the mountains, you would get a growing season. Like I'd get tomatoes until whatever, September, October, I guess until it got too cold. But what do you do here? Because it doesn't really get cold. So will the tomatoes continue to grow through the year or will they only do one batch? How does that work? Is it just one? I don't know, I was just wondering, I'm curious how it is. Yes, I can Google and look it up. It's always good to ask you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple seeds in each one here we'll do like whatever I grab one two and then um, I'll put some water in here I'm thinking these just didn't bother to come up okay that's really dry too okay so that one is done let me see there was another one let me get the other one okay this is a bell pepper with a Lego we got two but we didn't get three so let's get Let me look and see. I think they're red. Oh yeah. They're like a bunch of color ones. These were like from the dollar store. I'm sure the lady said they worked really good. So let me put one in here. Let's get two. Oh that like a whole bunch. <laughs> get three for good measure. Okay, so if I just kind of stick those down. And then I'll water that and see if um, if those come up. Let me see if there's any more. Okay, this is a jalapeno. This one looks different than this one. Or are they the same? Maybe they're the same. Okay, so jalapeno. Do we have? Oh, right here. Can you use a jalapeno? Jalapeno. 
And then these are probably going to be small pots. I know, I know. I'm like in my head thinking, oh, it'll be great. Just shove it in there. We'll see how they even grow. Okay, so there's two in there. Let's um, drop a wood chippy. Put that over here. Okay, this is kale, so this didn't even come up at all. Let me see. I didn't even see it, so are the kale seeds bad? I don't know. But they're real tiny, they're little. So let me kind of sprinkle here. Kind of sprinkle this up here over a little bit here. Just mixing it. I'm gonna be hopeful. I don't know. We'll see if that does anything. Okay, this is another bell pepper. Right here. Oh, it's on my thing. So this one didn't come up right here. Perfect. So, I mean, we'll see the other ones grew, so I guess we'll kind of see how they do. I'm not an expert, I'm just looking for a tiny little plant. That'd be great. You know, we'll do better next year and do better with the homesters. Like I said, gardening, I think doing it in a garden is a whole lot different. Like we did it back in Michigan. And I don't know, maybe it was just easier or something. So I should water these, shouldn't I? I didn't water them this morning. I'm gonna do a slight watering for these. Oh my goodness, I just saw it. No. So I'm debating here what to do because I've got that little fence thing and I'm like, how am I gonna do these cucumbers? Because we want them to go up things. So I'm, I don't know, this is gonna be one of those things like, I'm gonna put it here, obviously it's not even time for it to go up yet. And then I'm gonna see if this works. So sorry. So I'm wondering if like I can regret to stick that in the ground right there. Like a little bit better because it's not, the grass is like, it's not deep grass. And then I can have the cucumbers line up that. If I just put the pots in front of it, it will just like wind up it. I don't know, I don't know. Will that work? Possibly. So then I'm like over here, I know I need to um, like these, the stacking ones, everybody said I can stack them. I was just waiting until they um, like see if they even seed up and if they weren't, that's why I did that. So now I'm gonna stack them. I also end up putting the lettuce on the top because we kind of put it on all of them. So I don't mind stacking like this now. I know I want everything to look aesthetically pleasing, but right now I'm just trying to get my plants to grow something. So I'm wondering, so, oh, there's Maxine. I don't know you over here. So I've got cucumbers there, and I've got a tomato plant there. And then over here, these are our mango plants. Only one came up, so I need to see it. That's correct, I said, I should go work if we can get another one, because it didn't come up. It's, 
it's in there, it's just not sprouting. And those are all the peppers. And then the other tomato, this tomato, the one that's been bandaged up, and that's just an empty pot for right now for if I gotta change something over. And then there's the peppers. So, okay, awesome. Next thing's like I'm sniffing for things. Okay, I'm gonna go in outside because it's hot. Let's go in and get some water. Stop check, make sure she's got some water somewhere. Do do? Okay, so I think I'm gonna, or I know I'm gonna go upstairs right now, start editing, and then I might have um, the girls finish the pizza for me here. So I'm gonna shred some cheese, and I think that would be good. So let's go up, pull some footage up here. So in my office right now, so I'm getting um, just put some motion in. I'm printing it off our grocery list because in the video I think I said a few things to pick up, so I'm printing that off right now. This will be just like a guide for me to go, what do I need to buy from Sam's Club, that kind of stuff. And I still haven't really made a menu, will I? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's just been good kind of thinking, oh, let's make this, let's do that. So we'll see. I'll see what happens. So I've got this right here because in my video here, I did a lot of like, oh, remind me to get this, remind me to get that. So that's on here. And then um, I'll close that. It's just a little slow because it's pulling footage. And then I'm looking at my list for today and I'm like, okay, plant more seeds. And I'm like, I think someone told me to watch Becky. And so I actually will pull up her video. Becky Acre Homestead, I was gonna say Becky Acre Homestead. She just planted. Okay, so I'm gonna download her video. That's what I'll do and watch that another day. So that's done. The only other thing I need to check on is, I wrote down to make veggie soup, but I can do that like anytime. I don't need to do it today because I got enough. I like to have that as if I didn't have a lot of like salad -y stuff, a lot of green stuff, because it's a good like um, filler, healthier filler versus like kale salad. So I'll wait on that one, I think. And then, so let's wait on the veggie soup. So I wrote down snapshots. That's something I like to do once in a while is go through, because I take pictures of like, if you guys give me like a reminder or tell me something. And so I snapshot it and then I'm like, ooh, let me, or screenshot it, that's a better word, isn't it? So I'll probably maybe look at those, probably not today. And then I wanted to make a new phone thing for my, on my phone here, I've got these are the apps that I use like all the time. Like my phone has all these on here because phones do, it comes with the phone, but these are what I use right here. Like I don't have a Chick-fil-A app, I have a Starbucks app, but I don't have McDonald's, I don't have all the extra ones. So I try to like weed them off, but I do have the ones that I need are security, cameras, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Chrome, and the staple one. So that's what I use on here, but I have a background here. I used to have one and it was, um, was it an ocean? I'm thinking it was, I don't know if I had an ocean on there or not. I might have. So I just had this one and this was from, um, this is one that a dear friend gave me. And it was kind of last year. Um, she gave me a scripture. It was Psalm 37 verses three and four. And it says, trust the Lord. And this was like a different versions of it. Trust the Lord and live right. The land will be yours and you will be safe. Bless you. Settle in the land and maintain your integrity. This was another version. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Feed securely on his faithfulness and delight yourself and he will give you the desires of your heart. So that like just really spoke to me during a certain time in my life. And so recently I have another one. I like the Jeremiah 29 11, but just a different version. So I'd like to do like a beach scene with that. So I'm gonna go on Canva because I have a membership to Canva and do that. The only hard thing is, I don't know if they have it for your phone. Let me see. Sometimes they do like, um, like a template so you can do it. So I'll see, I didn't get that with any of this. So I had to like shape it. Are you sneezing? My goodness. And so see if I can get something on here. So I'm gonna work on that while this is, it's gonna take a while. Got, it takes a while to import. It's a lot of gigabytes of um, video. You know, it's time for a computer when it takes a long time to um, load things. It's funny because this is a good computer and it's got a lot of um, good space, but when you start doing video editing and the amount of times that you put videos on, they're like all day long, gigabytes, gigabytes, and then you delete it. It just uses up a lot of stuff. So I clean it off um, all the time, but um, it still is on. Let's get Canva here. So let me see if you can, let's see if they might have. Sometimes they have, let's see, creative design. Let's see if they have something. I'll search in um, background, phone, screen, 
foam wallpaper, that's what it's called. Foam wallpaper. Oh, there's a beach foam wallpaper, even better, because you know that's what I want. So let's see what they got, because this is something I want to do. I changed my intro too. I hope you guys like it. I had, I think I did one right away because when I moved in here, everyone's like, you need, or not everybody, there's a few, you need to change your stuff. I was still trying to like function as a human being and edit and do videos all day long and move into a whole new state and get everybody acclimated and all of that. And it was just a lot, a lot. And I know a lot of you that have commented saying, wow, I can't believe you've done videos the whole time you moved because I just moved and it's crazy. And I'm like, I know, I know, I felt that way, but I knew I had to do videos. So, it was good, but I'm just, so I just threw together one real quick. And then after watching it, I'm like, it doesn't, it's pretty with the ocean waves, but I'm like, it's not our ocean though. It's like, that must be the Atlantic side because it's like yellow sand. So I wanted to find with the white sand. So I found that one because that's like our favorite beach, the Venice beach where you kind of walk through the palm trees, the old Florida that goes out to the ocean. So that's why I chose that one. So let me know if you like that one better. And then here, okay, so I'm going to get me a, get, I'm going to get me my English, the beach background. Let's see. Okay, done it. Easy, simple. Let me get my phone scripture. That's it. okay. So when you do it, you realize it's too big. So I have to make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. It's that wallpaper. There it is. Oh, I'm just left on that. Should move over. But it'll be okay. For now, the plans that I have for you says the Lord plans for peace and well being and not for disaster to give you a few hope in the future. All right, that's something I wanted to do. So one video, I have 170 clips. And that's not all of them. There's some more in here too. Perfect. Okay, I open up my Adobe Premiere here. Okay, so I have been upstairs editing, so Brooklyn made dinner. Look at her pizza's always aesthetically nice and even. Mine would have blobs. So this looks really good. They're eating this. Ooh, and she made a cinnamon one. That looks really, really good. We've got this right here. Boys are being true boys right off the pan right there. And that one right there, delicious. Here is dinner tonight. But he like 47. Save it. There's the leftovers. Dinner, dinner, I had to come out and say was delicious. It was so, so good. I had the um, salad. I'm like, okay, enough leafy stuff. And then everybody started digging into the strawberry shortcake. Oh my goodness. It was so, so good. I haven't had that in, I'm gonna say probably 10 to 15 years I haven't made that kind of strawberry shortcake. So it was delicious, so good. And you wanna know what my favorite was? Was the cinnamon sticks. Brooklyn put, took one of the pizza crust. It's almost crispy. And then she put butter and then sugar and cinnamon. And that was like probably my favorite. I thought that was so, so good. Delicious, great meal all around. Everybody's loving everything. I pulled up burgers for Greg. There's leftover pizza there. It's good. So now I'm finished. I'm finished for the day. What I'm gonna do, I have to go up and edit. It's gonna take me a little bit more to edit. Six o'clock right now. I probably have another half hour worth of editing. Greg's gonna come out. He's gotta do some balancing on the pool, he said. Some chemist work and he's working on our sprinklers a little bit out front. And that's it. And then we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna come swim. I want to come earlier, but that's okay. Anytime we'll be out here for a while. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow and we'll do some more stuff. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.